Hello everyone, we are DS Tech Innovations from China. Today, we are going to introduce basic flight principles of VTOL drones. The propeller has two main functions. First, to generate forward thrust, and second, to generate the lift. Because the cross-section of the propeller is similar to that of a wing, so it can generate enough thrust and lift as the wing moves forward through the air. Thus, the propeller is moving in a plane perpendicular to the forward direction of the aircraft. It also generates a force. But the direction of motion is 90 degrees different, and therefore the direction of this force is also 90 degrees different. The wing generates an upward lift. The propeller generates a forward thrust. The propeller, like the wing, has an angle of attack which increases the thrust when the air is pressed backwards. The greater the angle of attack, the greater the thrust generated. Switch the flight mode to Q-Hover to arm the drone and observe the motor rotation direction and sequence. Now we shall use a test to see how the propeller works. Wing is the main component that provides lift for fixed wing aircraft, including airplanes and gliders. Through simulating both wings, it can maintain a stable flight and provide necessary control force. The wing is usually fitted with the main control surface of a fixed wing aircraft, the ailerons. So, how does wings provide lift? The reason why wing generates lift can be explained by Newton's third law and Bernoulli's law. As we use the upper single airfoil, so when the airflow parallel to the core direction flows through the wing, the flow tube section becomes smaller due to the obstruction of the wing, thus leading to an average increase of the air velocity on the upper and lower surfaces of the wing. Since the camber of the upper surface of the wing is greater than that of the lower surface, the velocity of the airflow follows the same rule according to Bernoulli's law. That is to say, the static pressure of the airflow on the upper surface is generally less than that on the lower surface. Due to the pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces, the wing is finally subjected to an upward resultant force, which is lift, actually. Then, I would like to talk about an abnormal state, stall. A stall is a state in which the lift force generated by an airfoil suddenly decreases when the angle of attack increases to a certain level as it reaches a critical value. Before reaching the value, the lift of the airfoil increases with the angle of attack. However, after exceeding the level, the lift will decrease. Therefore, maximum lift is only available when flying horizontally. When the aircraft is climbing or turning, stall is easy to happen in a higher speed in need of additional lift to provide acceleration. This speed may well exceed normal stall speed. One symptom of a plane approaching stall is a lagging response to controls as the airflow touching the control panel weakens. However, once the drone enters a stall, the frame may vibrate due to the turbulence formed around wings. This is immediately followed by the triggering of our stall protection. When the airspeed is lower than 16 meters per second, the multi-rotor mode will start. If the distance from base is greater than 1 km, it will land on the spot. And if less than 1 km, the drone will return to base in multi-rotor mode.